Welcome back. Time now for news from the left. Nancy Pelosi on MSNBC earlier today. Biden's biggest cheerleader saying this. We can do this in a unifying way. And we couldn't be better served in that regard than by President Joe Biden. This is a person who respects other points of view. 80, he's a kid. But as a kid, <laughs> it is his relative. He's, he's younger than I am, so I, he's a kid to me. God, so hard to watch. He's a kid to me, she says, at 80 years old. He's just a kid to Nancy Pelosi. Back in March on this show, we did some investigative journalism. We tried to get into the bottom of one of America's greatest unsolved mysteries, the age of Nancy Pelosi. We found images that alarmed us in our search, including that Pelosi was apparently there when Lincoln was assassinated. We were shocked by that. But the shock was only beginning. Another here took us far farther back. Pelosi could be as much as 2,000 years old, the birth of Christ. We continue digging into more of Pelosi's past. We unearthed some new exclusive images that we're reporting tonight for the first time that shocked us. Pelosi, as you can see here, herding animals onto Noah's Ark. It's such a beautiful image, it brings tears to my eyes. And we have one more, Pelosi witnessing the original sin. More evidence here, the age of Nancy Pelosi, more confirmation. We're still trying to dig in. We don't know how far back this goes. The Big Bang could have been Nancy Pelosi dropping a couple of bocce balls. We'll keep you posted. We'll keep digging for you. That's what we do. Next up, recent interview, Biden's transgender health secretary, Rachel Levine, explained why children should not wait until they turn 18 to pursue sex change surgeries and puberty, puberty blockers. What would you say to folks who think that they're being reasonable by saying, why can't children just wait till they're 18? The adolescence is hard and puberty is hard. What if you're going through the wrong puberty? What if you inside feel that you are female, but now you're going through a male puberty? What if you let a moron like that convince you to rip off your genitalia when you're seven years old? How about that? Levine transitioned into a trans, uh, a trans woman as an adult and has admitted she was glad that she had kids before she transitioned. There have been many examples of children growing up regretting their transition that that person doesn't want to talk about. Some of the pictures behind me of people who have all transitioned back to female after trying to turn into men. They've all been very outspoken about what's happened to them. Nobody cares about these stories. The stats on the number of detransitioners vary. A study from 2021 published in LGBTQ Health found 13% of transgender people have detransitioned at some point in their lives. Think about all of those people removing their sex organs when they're children and then desperately trying to get them back. Why doesn't anybody talk about that story? Makes you wonder. All right, finally, trouble in paradise, Meghan and Harry, Radar Online reporting the most obnoxious couple on the planet can no longer even stand each other and are taking time apart in hopes of rebuilding their bond after the pair's marital woes were fueled by family drama. This is what happens when a spoiled brat from England marries the world's worst person. It's going to be seriously interesting to see what happens here as Harry is now a boy on an island. Where does he go? Family doesn't want him back. Who wants him?